All right, I appreciate well, yeah, it. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm tickled pink. That was the easiest sale. I always thought my first guitar would be in March. Tossed in like a castaway. What we wanted, not what we thought we wanted. Tossed in, you couldn't see it coming. What we needed, not what we thought we needed. Headed up the road to, to pick up a 2016 or 2017 Gibson J15. Spruce top, walnut back and sides, really cool guitar. These have really gone up in value recently. I think they're just a ton of guitar for the money. And uh, I can get this one for $900. So it's about 45 minutes from my house and it's beautiful. Remember when I bought that orange and I bought the J45? Uh, it was the same time, it was 452 and the sun was totally down. And here we are like six weeks later maybe, not even that, four weeks later. And uh, it's still super light and beautiful. So, uh... Don't give up. Don't give in. No, it's 18 actually. Oh. Well, it might be. I bought it in 18. I actually found the receipt. Oh, cool. Man, that's a, that's a cool guitar. <laughs> I got the, the guy at Guitar Center told me oh, that cool. these, these strings play better on that. I like those a lot, yeah. And then uh, it comes with a little strap. Cool. It's right here. You know, all the tools and everything. <laughs> Like a, like I had a '52 Kelly that sat on a, on a stand. And yeah. Had two marks yeah. or just sat. It's just these lacquer finishes. Like sometimes they get soft. Yeah. I don't know. Cool man. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm in. I think okay. it's super cool. So there's 900. Uh, you live here in Woodstock? Uh, I live in Harrisonburg. Cool man. Well, anyway. All right. I well, yeah, it. yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm tickled pink. That was the easiest sale. I had my wife put it on Facebook because I'm not on Facebook. Yeah. That's what, yeah, like I saw it and I was like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Just a cool, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cool Gibson American made guitar. Yep, it's all American hardwoods. So it's more like the J35. J35? Okay. Um, the way it's braced and it has this thinner, the, it doesn't have a belly bridge, it has a straight bridge. Uh -huh. uh, but the big thing is that they're using like sustainable walnut on this. Like okay. they're trying to get people to use tone woods that aren't mahogany or rosewood. Right. Because right. those are becoming more and more difficult. Yeah, I always thought my first guitar would be in Martin. Yeah. Uh, but it was this Gibson, man. I played it. I, I went up to uh, Guitar Center just because I was in the area. Yeah. And uh, I was playing them all, and I picked that thing up and played, and I was like, damn, that sound on that is amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. They just sound super cool. You know, yeah. Cool, man. Uh, yep. What was your name again? Adam. Adam. I'm here. All right, man. Nice to meet you, buddy. Hey, a different world would check, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, man. Well, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Take care. Thank you. Really cool guitar. Has the has the receipts. Um, everything about it, just clean, tidy. It's 2018. It's in really good shape. There's one. There's a couple little like scuffs that might come out of the finish on the back, and then there's a couple like on the headstock. There's a little indent where a tuner seemed to have like just I don't know made a little dip in the finish. 
not the end of the world, super clean guitar, amazing deal for 900 bucks. Uh, and he gave me the receipt where he paid $13.99 for it, I think a year ago, I'll have to look. But incredibly cool guitar. All right, uh, whoa, the moon. I doubt, it's so impossible to, photo to photograph the moon, but I'll try and get, the moon is giant and just above the mountains over there. So I'll check it out, we'll head home, and then you'll hear this guitar probably tomorrow morning. I'll film um, unpacking, opening up, and hearing this guitar. All right. This guitar is, uh, it's like WandaVision in the MCU, right? So this is, it's like poetry. It's like storytelling. This guitar is, hey, what if there's this thing you know and you trust and you like, but what if it was a little different? And in it being different, it's cool and it makes you rethink that thing. I think this guitar is right in that same space. It reminds me, it looks like a J45. Feels like a J45 in the way it plays, but... With the back of the neck being maple and the the fingerboard being really kind of sapwood or lighter brown, um, it being walnut on the back and side, well, that's a weird one. But overall, all of a sudden your brain starts saying, well, this feels more like a J35 or a J185. Uh, it starts feeling like a cooler, older, different kind of guitar. And you start seeing all of the cool stuff that like this guitar, when it is put all together, Somehow, this guitar, in the sum of all of its parts, is not only more than the sum, but it is, like, it's very different, and it's very cool. So, leaving metaphor, moving into just a straight explanation of some of this guitar and how this deal worked. Um, so, this guitar is a J15. It's from 2018. It's a Sitka Spruce top. It is walnut back and sides, which is beautiful and wonderful. And it has a maple neck, a three-piece maple neck. It is maple and rosewood. I'll double check on the rosewood, but I feel pretty confident. Now, the headstock is a smaller size. It's a little smaller than a standard Gibson. I played this guitar a little bit last night, and most of the playing is what you just saw. Um, things I'm noticing from playing it, uh, it reminds me of a Cole Clark. So if you're not familiar with Cole Clark, they're made in Australia, they're satin finishes, and all of their guitars have very light and like medium brown fingerboards, uh, the body, the tone woods, the bridge, all of it is very organic looking and feeling. And so that's what I mean when I'm getting at this. So uh, this guitar is made in the U.S. It's made in Bozeman, Montana. This fingerboard is very light, typically for what you'd see Gibson do. 
Um, and then the top is very like figure and I don't want to call it streaky, but there's a lot of difference in the tone of the woods throughout here. But I got this guitar on Facebook Marketplace. I saw it, it popped up, uh, and it popped up for $950, which to me immediately seemed like that's a really good deal. And because I am who I am, I sent a message really quickly and said, hey, can you do $900? Uh, because there's something broken in my brain that will not pay what people are asking. I will always ask for a deal. I don't know why. Um, but they immediately wrote back and said, that's perfect. Can you meet today? And I couldn't meet that day, so I had to, we had to meet one day later. Um, but when I met with the deal and you heard the guy say, like, this is the easiest guitar sale he's ever had. And the way that I made it easy, and this is how, and this is the wisdom I want you to take away from this. Lead with excitement, offer cash, and be the first one to get there. And when those three things work, you will almost always uh, get money off of the price uh, because people will trade money for expediency. So if they can get the thing sold that day, they'll give you a good deal. So um, it was the guy, he doesn't have Facebook, so it was his wife. Uh, so I messaged with her, she agreed on the price, and then gave me his number. I coordinated with him to go get it. Uh, and I'm tickled pink. I cannot get over how much guitar this is for the money. For $900, this is an American-made, all-solid wood guitar uh, with an LR Bags pickup. It is an iconic brand. I mean, everything about this. There's no compromise. Uh, there is just cool, nuanced, subtle differences, you know, with the walnut back and sides, the maple neck. That, that's how it works. So, uh, lead with excitement. Say that you're excited about the guitar. Offer to meet as quickly as you can and bring cash and you will get good deals. It will be for sale shortly. And so if you want, you can send me a message through my website or on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram. That's where a lot of this stuff shows. And if you, by the time you see the video, they're almost always gone. But thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy. I'm the Guitar Hunter. Go fill the world with music and friendship. <laughs>